Let's look at some of the more common violations of FIFRA. It is a violation of federal law to distribute, sell, or deliver a pesticide that has not been registered by EPA unless it's one of those few minimum risk products that is exempt from registration requirements. After the anthrax scare several years ago, a couple of companies were selling products they claimed would kill anthrax. Since their products were not registered as pesticides, the manufacturers were in violation of FIFRA and EPA took action. FIFRA also requires that advertising be within accordance with the pesticide label. FIFRA requires that the contents of a registered product conform with its pesticide label. It's illegal to sell an adulterated or misbranded pesticide. It's also illegal to detach, alter, or deface a container or its label. FIFRA requires that any applicator be willing to have an EPA product, EPA conduct an inspection at any time, and it's a violation of FIFRA to forbid access to a compliance officer who is requested to perform an inspection. FIFRA also requires that any pesticide recommendation or guarantee conform specifically to the label directions. EPA and USDA have federal laws that stipulate record keeping requirements. Inaccurate records are one of the most common violations. It's a FIFRA violation when a distributor sells a restricted use product to a person who is not a certified applicator. Also, manufacturers or distributors cannot advertise use of restricted use pesticides without telling the audience that they are restricted. It's a violation of federal law to use a pesticide in any matter inconsistent with its label, and it says so right on the label. You can't miss it. This is one violation that is used during most enforcement activities against applicators. Usually, if an applicator has one violation, they typically have several violations of label directions associated with the initial misdeed. Violation of FIFRA can be either civil or criminal. Civil penalties for private applicators can be up to $1,000 and for commercial applicators or dealers up to $5,000. I want to point out that when one violation is found, it usually results in several violations being brought to light. That's why it's especially important that you adhere to all of the label directions. Criminal penalties range from up to $1,000 for private applicators to $25,000 for commercial applicators and $50,000 for producers of agricultural commodities. Jail time can also be added to the penalty. There are people in jail today as a result of grossly negligent violations of pesticide sales or use, so remember the label is the law. I'll say it again, the label is the law, whether the product is for home and garden use or for professional use.